Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jared, and this is my channel, Mazda B3K. This is going to be a five minute fix episode, and it will be swapping out the bar on a chainsaw, in particular, my Echo CS590 Timberwolf. Without further ado, let's get started. This is my Echo CS590. It is a kind of a prosumer saw. It's not cheap, but nor is it commercial grade. It has a 20 inch bar on it right now. Right now it's a generic tractor supply bar. And the reason why we're making this video is that the bar got pinched when I was dropping a tree and I bent the pinch out of the bar thought that fixed the problem but now the chain doesn't really want to cut now this is a brand new chain so if it won't cut that tells me one of two things it either means that I have the chain on backwards which is possible or it means that we need a new bar now, I went ahead and thought that maybe I just needed a new bar because I went back, I did some reading on the reviews for this particular bar, and they're not that great. So I bought a new bar, an organ bar, which is a much higher quality steel and all that. And so we're going to swap the bar, make sure that we have the chain on correctly, and then we're going to do some test cuts, see what we get. Alrighty, this is an organ VersaCut. It is specifically a VersaCut 200VXL HD176. It is compatible with a CS590. Uh, these are not cheap. Uh, I shopped around and I got this for about $50. But I believe it is the actual bar that comes with the saw. Echo just rebrands it. So we're going to put this back on. And I also wanted to show that I figured out why at least I believe stuff wasn't cutting. If you look closely at these teeth, and let me zoom in. Kind of move you guys around. You'll notice something. They're pointing backwards. So the reason why it won't cut is not because of the pinch in the bar, like I initially thought. It's because I put the chain on backwards. So... Uh, we'll expand the scope of this video a little bit. I will flip this around and just verify that out, but we're still going to have to switch out the bar to do that, really. So let's go ahead and get started on that. The only tool you should need for all of this is the scrunch. And unlike sounding like a beloved Christmas time character, this is a scrunch. It's a portmanteau word meaning a combination of a wrench and a screwdriver. Uh, you should have gotten this when you bought the saw, if you bought it new. If you bought it used, I strongly suggest you get one that's compatible with an Echo. Um, I can tell you from experience that Echo and Husqvarna, they use the same sizes on everything. So if you have a Husky scrunch, it'll work. So this side is to loosen your bar nuts. This side loosens your spark plug. And then this is for adjusting the oiler and adjusting the tensioner on the, the saw and for uh, unscrewing most of the, well, some of the screws on the case. Looks like most of these are Torx, actually. Anyway, to the bar. So you're gonna want to loosen those up. These are your, these are your bar nuts. So they need to be loosened. And if you've owned a chainsaw for a while, you know how to do this. This is for folks that are brand new owners. Maybe this is the first time you've had to do this. So you just loosen these up and get this case off. These are 10 millimeters. If you don't have a scrunch, 10 millimeter socket will do exactly the same thing. Go ahead and pop this off, like so. It may fight you a bit depending on where you have the tensioner. Not a big deal. 
Um, now that the tensioner is off, you can just kind of wiggle this. Bar will come right off. Be carefully with the chain because yeah, you should just flip it around. Yeah, all right. And since we already have the bar off, we're just going to go ahead and we'll put the new bar on because, like I said, the reviews on these Country Line bar replacements are. They're checkered. Some people say they work great. Some people say they're dog do. Particularly that this sprocket in the nose will give up fairly quickly. So I will keep this as a backup bar. Verify the theory here. All right, new bar. Bar can only go on one way. You put that on. Now comes the interesting part. You have to feed the chain back on. Which honestly, a chain video would be more worthy than a, a bar video because chains can be pretty evil to get out of the package and then get on. But the big thing here is you'll notice there's a sprocket and so I get the sprocket. There we go, back up. You see there's etchings cuttings in the sprocket now i don't know this is by default meaning it was put in there by echo or if this has happened because of stuff and things with my saw this my saws five or six years old but you want the uh the guides on the chain which is the bottom part of the chain you want it to catch and hook here sit snug so we're gonna Kind of feed this around. And the bar is going to have to be snugged in just as close as you can because if you don't, you will not be able to get the chain around the sprocket on the nose. Okay, looks like I was able to without major issue. Zoom out, show you. There we go. So... We're around the nose. Uh, we are out of the guide right there, so we've got to kind of, there we go, straighten that out. And now what's going to have to happen is we're going to put our cover back on. But when we do put the cover back on, you're going to have to bring the tensioner, you got to turn this left, get the tensioner to line back up with this hole right here. Because if you try to put it on now, where it's tensioned, it's not going to work. It won't seat, and until it seats, you can't uh, put the cover back on. So let me do this off camera, and I'll bring you right back. All right, this point, uh, I got the tensioner peg to line up with the hole on the bar again. So we're going to put the nuts back on, but we're not going to tighten them all the way, because once it's fully tightened, the tensioner cannot adjust the chain which would not be a good thing because it's pretty obvious right now we are way, way, way loose. And this is a brand new chain, so it's still got quite a bit of stretching to do. Let's keep my other chain as a backup. I wonder if I stretch this out. Probably gonna edit this part out. It's not super riveting. So you can see the chain is picking up tension. So we're getting the tensioner out. So we're getting pretty close. All right, so at this point, this is where you're gonna, it comes down to personal preference. As far as how much tension you want on the chain. I myself like where the chain, it's a, that's a little bit too loose still for me. I like it a little bit tighter. So at this point we'll give it, I don't know, about half a turn. It's closer, still a little bit on the loose side for me. 
do another half turn. That's the chain breaking gauge. Oh, it is. Okay. Whoa. And I think we are off the track right now. So let me fiddle with that. Yeah, we are. So let me let me fight with that. And what I mean by that is back at the sprocket. We may be on the sprocket, but we're not in the groove all the way along the bar. And because of that, the chain is popping out of alignment. So let me work on that and I'll bring you back. All right. So everything's in position. The chain's back on the, its groove correctly. So the only thing left at this point is to fire up the saw and then try to go cut something and see how it behaves. So let me go do that real quick or set that up and we'll get to it. All right, let's get this thing started for first piece. It's going to look a little awkward because this is a right-handed chainsaw, not left-handed, so. All right, so we want on, choke, okay, impression. The chain didn't fly off to oblivion that's good so i'm going to go ahead and set you up somewhere where i can cut and then we'll do a cutting test make sure everything is as it should be all right i'm going to leave this running just because it's going to be kind of weird this is a really enormous root from a, a tree that I took down last weekend so i'm going to fire up the saw and see if we can't cut through it and if we can cut through it i will consider this a success Cover your ears, it's gonna get loud. Okay, I declare it good. Now, that's going to do it for this video. We got the chain flipped around so that it's not trying to cut backwards anymore. Always a good thing. So that was actually the main issue all along. But a new bar doesn't hurt. The tractor supply bar was only half the price of the organ bar. And I think with chainsaw bars, you really do get what you pay for. So we have a successful repair. The bar went back on no problem. The chain went on. It's cutting great, which is good. I have some uh, more tree that's behind me here. It needs to get cut down for a different project that's going on. I don't know if I'll film it, but different project. So anyway, please leave me some comments, good, bad, or ill. Please also like, share, and subscribe. And remember, I make the mistakes and look like an idiot, so you don't have to. I'll see you guys next episode.